I uh, came across this guy um, by watching Russell Brand. His name is Callie Means. And uh, he recently called out Michelle Obama in this thread. So I wanted to read it to you. Um, Yesterday, Michelle Obama announced she is partnering with a junk food company to sell sugar water to kids. We must speak plainly. This is cynical cash grab. This is a cynical cash grab. Kids don't need safer cigarettes and they don't need safer sugar water. They need leadership. Here's the facts. So I'm not going to read all of this, but um, Mrs. Obama is partnered with Juggernaut Capital Partners, a private company that specializes in celebrity-driven junk food brands and pharmaceutical products. Juggernaut recently helped The Rock launch Zoa Energy, full of chemicals and sugar. The pitch to Mrs. Obama was obvious and simple. We will make you a billionaire using a tried and true formula of addicting kids to sugar and celebrity marketing. Now, this kind of stuff really hits for me because I'm, you know, I'm in my 40s and all my life I kind of just ate whatever I want wanted and I never really thought twice about it cuz I always exercise. I have a pretty good exercise regimen and I always just thought, you know what? I can do that cuz I, you know, I exercise. But it wasn't until recent years where I went, wow, like what you eat is so important and we are being poisoned on a lot of levels. There is, I was talking to my brother-in-law the other night about how Mountain Dew has brominated vegetable oil in it. I love Mountain Dew, but it's got bromine in it. Like that's a, it's poisonous. Like that's a poisonous chemical, you know? Um, We just, and it's all about money. It's, it's, that's really what it comes down to. Um, so this guy is kind of calling out Michelle Obama in this thread for, you know, post-presidential world making, trying to make some cash and, uh, off of her celebrity status as a ex-president, ex-first lady. Um, and he's not wrong to do this. Um, I do think he's a little bit harsh because here's why to defend Michelle. Cause I, you know, I try to be, if, if I'm, I'm, I'm fair, if anything, right? You know, I I like the Obamas, and I, I'm a big fan of Michelle. And I think even the fact that she has put um, obesity and and health consciousness into the, you know, into the mainstream conversation is a beautiful thing, and I think she deserves a lot of credit for that. So one of the things that um, Homeboy said is that she's pushing sugar water but i follow michelle on instagram and i happened to catch her post and i read it and i thought she you know maybe maybe it's just about the money or whatever but i thought she framed it in a very eloquent and sensible way and and here's the part that i think really stuck out to me that i wanted to highlight um for callie Right here, she says, make no mistake, water and milk are the best options for your kids, and kids shouldn't be regularly drinking anything other than water or milk until they're at least five years old. So one of his beefs was that um, this stuff can be drank by kids after they're two years of age. I mean, she's not saying that. So I thought that right here, she's saying... But once kids become school-aged, drinking only water and milk isn't just just isn't a reality. Nearly two-thirds of young people are consuming sugary drinks on any given day. So, you know, that part of it gets a little dicey where it's like, okay, she's... But I give Michelle credit for saying, hey, um, kids under five should only be drinking water and milk. Like... But then once they get to that a certain age, they're going to be drinking sugary beverages like this. I think a lot of it, too, has to do with diet. Like, it's okay to drink a Coke if you eat a salad in the day, you know? It's okay to, you know, eat some ice cream at night as long as you're, like, had, you know, a good dinner or whatever. There's balance with everything. I, I've noticed this about um, my eating habits where it's like, if you if you're gonna eat sugar, you want to eat sugar in you know 
is it's most natural form possible. So a smoothie is a great, you know, thing to, to cure that sugar craving because even though fruits have sugar in them, there's other um, in parts of fruit. Uh, what do they, what does Dr. Berg call it? Phytonutrients that help you to better digest that sugar. Whereas if you just, you know, drink a Coca-Cola, it's just like raw chemicals and garbage sugar and, and calories. And it's delicious though. Um, but, but I think it's okay to drink a Coke or two. If you, you know, you have a salad and a piece and a chunk of steak and have like a really healthy nutritional dinner, we, what we don't want to do is drink Coke all day, every day. And, uh, you know, crystallize your urinary tract. <laughs> no one wants a crystallized urinary tract. That's got to hurt. People, oh, kidney stone. Anyway, good on Michelle for saying what she said. And I think Callie is in the right place to point this stuff out. You know, he's got a very cynical attitude about it. You know, the nefarious thing, Michelle Obama's strategy is branding sugar water six grams as some kind of positive step for health it's shameful that Ms. obama's website actually cites the usda sugar guidance to say it is recommended for children two years and up to consume added sugar in black and white, Mrs. Obama is saying it's okay for two-year-olds to have added sugar. See, I don't think she's saying that, though, buddy. Because right here she's saying, make no mistake, water and milk are best options for kids. And kids shouldn't be regularly drinking anything other than water or milk until they're at least five years old. And she's right. So, good on Michelle for, you know, being real with it when it comes to that stuff.